Imagine that you're living in the 1850 to 1950 time frame when the truly great national parks of this country were started. There we go. All right. Yosemite, Yellowstone, the Everglades, the Grand Canyon, Glacier National Park, and Tetons, and many others. A time when names like Rockefeller and Roosevelt were working to set aside, uh, to set aside these great parks. And what Ken Burns has called in his DVD National Park Series, America's Best Idea. Today we have a similar opportunity at the American Prairie Foundation. We are creating the largest wildlife, wildlife reserve in the continental United States, some 5,000 square miles or three and a half million acres. This is one and a half times the size of Yellowstone, the size of the state of Connecticut, and the, or the island of Hawaii. We are assembling this reserve in the uh, Great Plains of eastern Montana, along the Missouri River, where Lewis and Clark ventured in 1804, and where they saw what they thought what was the greatest density of wildlife in all of North America. Our tagline for the reserve is the American Serengeti. We had the opportunity today to reassemble this huge landscape and much of the wildlife that was there some 200 years ago and to make it accessible to generations of people. As part of this project, we have introduced a herd of genetically pure bison, um, the iconic western ungul ungulate that have not been there for over 100 years. We have 140 animals now, 200 next month, and in the future, over 10,000 animals. What I hope in my lifetime is they'll be able to go out and see these wonderful bison galloping across, stampeding across the prairie. I'm chairman of the board. My wife, Susan, is on the board. We've been involved in this project for nine years. This is our primary philanthropic focus, and we spent every day working to make this vision a reality. I joined the venture capital ranks in 1970 when it was a gentleman's business. Mayfield was a fairly large $3.5 million fund, um, and I had the good fortune to be there during a time of huge growth and success. About 1998, I found myself nodding off in a presentation at 9 a.m. And uh, it, it, said, it was assigned to me that it was maybe time for a change. I retired and started uh, the Entrepreneurs Foundation, which has the mission of making the community a core component of a company's culture. It's still thriving today. Along the way, I met Sean Garrity, a Silicon Valley consultant. He had returned to Bozeman uh, and founded and started what is now APF, American Prairie Foundation. A year later, Susan and I visited and fell in love with the vision. Sean was about to buy his first 30,000 acres with no money in the bank uh, and uh, just an option uh, to, to buy this. Sounds like a venture deal to me. We joined the board and we now own 120,000 acres, have an option on 150,000 acres, and have a lot more property coming towards us. Sean had a business plan as good as any venture, venture on a startup, just a bit more amb ambitious, and he's well on the way on that plan. On our wedding anniversary, Susan and I review the year, and kind of where we're going. An important part of this is what brings joy to our lives. APF is one of five categories that really brings great joy to us. I think that's because we love and believe in the vision, we're deeply engaged, there are great people involved on the board and the staff. And then finally, it's these elements that come together to provide unique experiences with these people, which in turn enriches and brings joy to our life. For example, one board member is a well-known landscape artist. We've become friends with him and his wife, and we've traveled to Norway, uh, we the Missouri River float, and we've gone to gatherings of his artist friends. Sean and his staff have come to Utah to ski with us many, many times, and we never tire of visiting the reserve and seeing the wildlife and our wonderful bison. I've heard retired friends bemoan their shrinking world of fewer friends and less interesting things to do. In the case of our involvement with APF, APF has expanded and enriched our world. We have many new friends, and we have had so many unique experiences. So in all respects, this has built some of the best years of my life. Thanks. <laughs>